GCP data engineering. So in this video, we will see what is cloud logging, right? And also we will see what are the different options we have to export these logs to different other Google Cloud services like Google BigQuery or Google Cloud Storage and also PubSub, okay? So usually in common practice, right, whenever you are trying to execute a program, program or execute a pipeline, usually you will try to write logs related to that program flow or execution into a file or some other database. So which would uh, provide uh, information like uh, what is that execution flow, what event is happening at what time and if something goes wrong in between the pipeline, it will basically uh, ease our task to debug the program uh, to fix that issue, right? So in the same way, so Google Cloud also providing uh, this service as a managed service and it is part of a Google Cloud operations suite, okay? So when you go to the Google Cloud platform, so so you can see this particular logging service as part of operation suite, okay? So basically this particular service includes, it can also store the logs, right? Logs means it can provide the log information related to any other service available in the Google Cloud platform. It's not uh, uh, basically constrained to a particular group of service. So whatever it is happening in the Google Cloud platform, so you can see those related logs or event information or transaction related information as part of this logging module, okay? So it also providing a user interface called Log Explorer, okay? We'll see all these details one by one, right, in the demo. And also it, will, it, it is providing an API to manage logs programmatically, okay? So basically it just lets us to read and write the logs and also query logs and also we can control this logs, we can route these logs, we can store these logs into some other Google Cloud service, storage services like Google Cloud BigQuery and also Google Cloud Storage and also for event driven processing, you can even export these logs into a PubSub topic, okay? We will see all these use cases in detail in the demo, okay? So then, so what are the basic information we have inside this a log entry? When you say a log, right, so what are the details we have? First of all, we have a timestamp. So uh, basically, it basically when that event is happening, or event is taking place, a transaction is taking place related to any particular service, okay? So we have this basic information. And then we do have a resource from there that particular log is triggered, that log information is triggered. For example, let's say if you're trying to access a BigQuery, so that related information uh, should have that BigQuery as a resource, okay? So then we have in detail information, we call it as a payload called message. So this is bit the information we have. It's based, it completely based upon the resource uh, to which this particular log is belongs to. For example, let's say, if it is related to the BigQuery, we have every information. What is the job has been submitted, right? From where it, it has been triggered, right? Something like that, we have in detail information inside this payload. So basically, this log is a uh, is available in the JSON format. It's a very lengthy JSON file, right? Uh, for a single log entry. So in order to analyze this JSON file, we need to have a mechanism. Either you need to manually go to that JSON file and try to extract the related information or else you need to export these logs to some other Google Cloud services like Google Cloud BigQuery or PubSub or uh, Google Cloud Storage for further processing or analysis, okay? And then we do have a name of the log, name of the log. Basically, we have different event types, right? whether it can be admin activity, whether it can be a data access activity, whether it can be a system activity, right? Whether it can be a access related activity, right? For example, VPC related activity. So those uh, based on the event, so we have a different audit logs. So we will see them in detail in the next slide, okay? And then we'll talk about what are the different IAM permission required to access this logging service or module, right? First of all, the basic IAM permission would require is Logs Viewer. This is a basic IAM role where you can view or read all the logs, 
right related to all the services for example a particular user would like to have a full control on the log api then he should he or he, she should have this logging admin role if you need to export that logs into some other google cloud services so if you need to have a full control definitely someone should have this admin permission or admin role okay so next we'll see what are the different types of audit logs we have so as i already told admin activity admin activity means for example let's say there is a google cloud resource if you are creating that resource and if you are changing the state of the resource if you are deleting deleting that resource so all this comes under this admin related activity so all those related activities are events captured by this admin activity log and then data access so this is the best example is when you are trying to access the data from the bigquery then all those related stuff or entries will be captured by this data access okay and then system event system event means for example let's say i have scheduled something to happen in a specified time for example let's say i am defining a data set inside a bigquery but i have defined uh, the expiration policy of that data set for example let's say i need to have the data set uh, for uh, active for 30 days after 30 days automatically it has to be deleted by the system so all this related information and events captured by this system event log and then policy in it as i already told this is vpc ac vpc service control related for example let's say if a user a service account trying to access a, uh, a resource uh, uh, from a private vpc which, which which is basically denied due to uh, this access policies right so the transaction will be captured by this policy daily logs we have all these different types of logs so i try to discuss this on high level let us go to the demo so we'll discuss in detail okay so in the demo what we'll see we'll try to explore how this logging uh, interface look like so basically we'll try to run some queries build some queries and we'll try to apply some filters and also we'll try to manually download the logs and also we'll try to save the queries so there are many more options available we'll try to see okay and then we'll try to export this these logs to different other google cloud services like google cloud storage and also google cloud bigquery so we'll try to export those logs into google cloud bigquery data set and also a pub sub topic okay so by using this syncs there is an option called syncs in the cloud logging service by using syncs we'll try to export these logs to other google cloud services like gcs or bigquery or topic so while creating the sync you can also apply some filters to exclude some logs if you don't want to export every other log available if you want to export only data access log you can do that by applying uh, that filter by excluding that particular log okay so i hope you are clear now let us quickly move to the demo okay now i'm into my google Drive platform console okay so here let us go to this cloud logging service okay so here you can type logging okay so then it should take you to this particular interface you can see this is the interface this is the cloud logging interface where you can see there are few logs already displayed but I've, I've because I've been using this console uh, from past one to two hours, so you can see some logs. So it is related to every other service which is available on the Google Cloud platform. Okay. So first of all, we'll try to see how this log look like. Okay. So just click on this, this down arrow. You can see this is in a JSON notation. Okay. We'll have this timestamp already. I told the same timestamp, right? And also severity. Basically, if there is an error right if it is a notice if it is a information so you can see this segregation over here right so alert critical error something notice info something like that right now you can see as i already told this is the timestamp and this is the log information or log name cloud added google api this is a activity related information right this is payload where we have in detail information right well, that is an expanded mode you can see so you will this is in json format that too in a nested format you will have to click each and every this down arrow to see in detail information so like that it has so many nested 
fields up to so many levels. So if you try to analyze this log, right, it will be a bit difficult, right? So what is happening if you would like to bring some insights from the logs, whether it can be a data access log, whether it can be a system event or whether it can be admin activity. So you will have to manually come here and you will have to go to this log and you will have to expand each and every field and see. It will be a bit difficult, right? So you need to parse this JSON file and you need to extract required fields to perform our further analysis. To do that, we need to export these logs to some other Google Cloud services. If you export this log to a BigQuery, definitely BigQuery has this SQL interface. You, by using SQL, you can query these logs right and you can perform your analysis or else you can uh, store this logs into google cloud storage bucket and you can process those logs using either data flow or any other uh, service and export this logs to a pubsub topic from where you can have some function where it can parse that particular log and you can you can insert the data into any other storage service so we have so many option to process this data okay now coming back to this interface so here you can just click on this run query then it will just run that uh, we don't have any filters over here if you try to include some filter then it will basically uh, include those filters over here now let's try to include some filters here we have resource so if you would like to have information related to BigQuery, just select this and click apply, right? So you can see this filter because I do, I didn't perform any BigQuery related activity. That's why I don't see any log. I don't have any recent logs. You can even enter the custom range also. So for example, let's say 22 apply from, I would like to see the logs from past two days. You can see these many logs, BigQuery logs, right? So you can even filter based on the severity also I, I would like to see only error right in such case also you can filter all these are errors related to BigQuery right so like that you can apply filters right and you can read the logs okay and also you can save the logs also save this particular filter right by using this clicking save give some name demo save so now save query so this will be saved to a save queries click on save you can see this is the demo save and click on run again this will automatically run this particular query using this filters okay right and also as I, as I already told we do have a download option right click on this download option to download these log entries into our local right we have different format option json or csv click on csv it will only try to download 500 entries only we, we do have uh, this limitation it clearly it says log entries matching your query will be downloaded if you need over 10000 logs so consider exporting your logs exporting means exporting the, these logs to some other google cloud services like gcs or bigquery okay so click on download either here we have this option save to google drive also but when you click on download it will be downloaded to your local machine okay now you can see this has been downloaded okay so like that we do have so many options just play with it right whenever you get some time right